nervous. Very, very dreadfully nervous I have been in Anne. But why will you say that I am mad? The disease had sharpened my senses, not destroyed, not dulled them. Above all was my sense of hearing acute. I heard all things in the heaven and in the earth. I heard many things in hell. How then am I mad? Hearken, and observe how healthily, how calmly, I can tell you the whole story. I was never kinder to the old man than during the week before I killed him. Now, I did not hate the old man, oh no, quite the contrary, he was my dear friend. I loved the old man. He had never wronged me. He had never given me insult. What then, you may ask, brought me to desire such a thing as murder? I... I think it was his eye. Yes, it was this. He had the eye of a vulture. Whenever it fell upon me, my blood ran cold. And so, very gradually, I made up my mind to take the life of the old man, and thus rid myself of the eye forever. Every night, at just about midnight, I crept into the old man's room, and I shone my lantern upon his face. But I found the eye always closed, and so I could not do my work, for it was not the old man who vexed me, but his evil eye. So, sir, how did you sleep last night? Oh, pretty well, my boy. Except for those crickets. They kicked me up all night last night. Do you like some milk in your tea? Oh, yes, please. Thank you very much. Crickets? They should be close to gone by now. It's it's getting close to winter. Mm, maybe there's one in the house. I hear them every night. They're all, you know, chirpity chirp chirp chirp. I can't sleep. I 
had the suspicion that the old man would soon figure something out. And so I decided I had to accelerate my work. Did you pass the button? Yes. I went to dismembering the body, the arms, and the head. I wrapped the pieces in towels and I stored them in the cabinet. Evening, sir. Me and my fellow officer here are to follow up on a, some kind of noise complaint. Something about screaming. A suspicion of foul play has been aroused. We'd like to search the premises immediately. Oh yes, yes, please, come in. I apologize for the disturbance during the night. The cries were my own. I was having a nightmare. Well, sir, we were informed that there's no one man who lives here. Oh, yes. Actually, he's, um, he's out in the country uh, visiting relatives at the moment, so I am the only one residing at this house at the time. I'll show you around the whole house. Everything checks out here. Well, I'd say everything checks out. Sorry for the disturbance. Oh no, it's not a problem. Say, would you like to have a seat and get some drinks? You know, drink sounds mighty fine right about now. Officer Ruben, get us some glasses from that cabinet, why don't you? Sure thing, boss. No, don't. So, why'd you do it? 
Sir, look at him. He's clearly mad. Tell us, why'd you do it? What was going through your head? True. Nervous. Very, very dreadfully nervous I have been and am. But why would you say that I am mad?